Dead Island 2, a zombie role-playing game from Deep Silver, is finally aiming for an April release after years of shaky development. Following several ownership changes, Dam Buster Studios is now in charge of creating the follow-up to 2011's Dead Island, and recent gameplay sneak peeks have pleasantly surprised fans with an impressive range of characters, weapons, and gadgets in its dystopian version of Los Angeles. If Dead Island 2 lives up to expectations, a stale franchise will be happy to make a comeback. The most recent Dead Island 2 gameplay trailer shows off several zombie-infested areas that are blown through using brutal melee kills. Players should be in for a treat if the preview footage accurately reflects the high attention to detail in Dam Buster's upcoming game. But it is fair to say that the quality of the gaming experience will partially depend on how its development studio manages to implement responsive combat. In this action-oriented RPG, combat options in Dead Island 2, Dambuster Studios appears dedicated to providing combat options that are true to the first Dead Island game. In addition to unarmed combat, fans can anticipate the use of swords, hammers, and other dangerous objects. The remaining arsenal is made up of ranged weapons like pistols, rifles, and shotguns. Since it has been confirmed that Dead Island 2's weapons will deteriorate over time, the world should provide enough resources for repairs and customizations. Six playable characters are also said to be available in the game. This suggests that the project may be aiming for greater specialization. To keep from getting boring, Dead Island 2 needs a larger variety of weapons. Throwable items and even zombie-based abilities seem to be in use, which could introduce strong tactics to test. Environmental dangers like fire or electricity can also be used to control group interactions. Players should gain from finding the right gear and making plans in advance if combat is designed with the variety of enemies in mind. Strong combat should be a defining characteristic of a great co-opus game like Dead Island 2. Hordes of zombies in Dead Island 2 while the city of Dead Island 2 appears to have a healthy proportion of undead, there may also be a reasonable distribution of unusual enemy types to take into account. Combat situations ought to change as players advance. Dead Island 2's early access footage teases a variety of enemies, some of which may be smarter than the typical zombie. A masked clown can be seen ambushing the player from above in one scene giving the player the impression that they should exercise caution when dealing with certain in-game characters. Although it's unlikely that Dead Island 2 will play similarly to recent stealth games, there may be more lethal gameplay elements. Exploring post-apocalyptic lick could become more exciting and immersive with a combination of powerful enemies. Dead Island 2 features a complex score feature code named Flesh in several battles that can provide organic cues about an opponent's overall health. Exposed bones and missing limbs seem to show locational damage, similar to what you might see in a game like Dead Space, which fits with the FPS horror of Dead Island. Dead Island the second of May deliver engaging and impactful gameplay that rivals the original if the visual feedback is consistent. Urban level design is something Dead Island 2 should adopt. Dead Island 2 is in a special position because it offers exploration in one of the most famous cities in the United States. Los Angeles is home to many well-known neighborhoods and landmarks that might give the sequel's setting a stronger sense of identity than the imagined island of Banoi from Dead Island. Sandy coastlines, which are present in the Dam Buster sequel, could be used to create a setting that is more tropical, while nearby collapsed buildings serve as a reminder of how destructive the apocalypse is. Despite the fact that many video games feature zombie outbreaks, Dead Island the 2nd of May create a more expansive world than most. Urban areas might be designed with buildings that contrast the city's streets by creating a stronger sense of verticality. First-person navigation might become less taxing if Dambuster executes its locations well, even though it isn't as massive as Grand Theft Auto V's Los Santos. Large-scale districts could function as a distinctive collection of locations to discover, loot, and engage in monstrous creature combat. Even though Dead Island did not have an open world, at least not in the traditional sense, fans may not have to wait long to see what Dam Buster Studios and Deep Silver have in store for them since Dead Island 2 has shown promise. The first game was released more than 10 years ago, so the series will need to catch up with all the advancements that have been made since then. Techland, the company behind the first Dead Island, is now working on the Dying Light series of zombie-themed RPGs. It will be interesting to see how Dead Island 2 sets itself apart from Dying Light 2 given that it still has new content on the way. On April 28, 2023, Dead Island 2 will be available on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, S. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.